Most people outside the tech field don't know this, but what actually happens is we normally spend a very long time, when, we, when I worked at Google X, we, we spend a very long time trying to find a breakthrough, trying to find something that is so complex for us, we're unable to fix it. And then we find it. From the second we find it onwards, what ends up happening is technology doubles at a, at a steady speed because we apply engineering to it. So it doubles in performance at a steady speed. So, so normally, the most, uh, most well-known example of doubling uh, the technology acceleration curve is something known as the Moore's Law. Moore's Law is uh, the idea that compute power will double every 12 to 18 months at the same cost. It was uh, coined by the Intel uh, CEO in the 60s. And it held true even before he said it and until today, since, since the 1920s, until today, computers doubled every 12 to 18 months. AI follows a different law, which basically says that the amount of intelligence we're creating with AI is doubling every 5.7 months. 5.7 months. So as I said, we don't measure IQ anymore, but if, you, if that held true, then from 155, they become 310. And then on the next doubling, they don't add 155 IQ points. They add 310. So they're now 620. On the next doubling, they become 1,240, and they keep doubling that way. Every single time microchips power uh, doubles, we're adding trillions of times, trillions of times more power to the computer than the computer I had when I started coding. Okay? That doubling function is the key to why humanity keeps advancing. The other forms of intelligence, so, you know, uh, take mathematical intelligence, for example. By the end of last year, any language model could beat me in linguistic intelligence, but I could still beat most AIs in mathematics. I am a very, very, very serious math geek, to the point that I see the world in numbers before I see it in words. By around March 2024, I lost. I cannot beat an AI in mathematics anymore. Some of my dearest friends still can. These are the absolute math prodigies. prodigies. By the end of this year, they're not going to be able to beat AI in mathematics anymore. The, the latest release of O1 from OpenAI and equivalent releases from Gemini and Google and, and Claude and so on are predicting that we're also going to solve deep reasoning this year. Deep reasoning is to give the computer a very complex a uh, problem that you would sit with your colleagues in a consortium and discuss in a lot of detail, and they would follow logic to solve that problem. Conclusion, they will become the world champion at every single task we will assign to them. And we're assigning task to them, tasks to them by the thousands a week now, because there are billions, hundreds of billions of dollars of investment being poured in the industry.